Hey guys, this is the Dot Connects utility program I was telling you you're going to receive for purchasing Proxy Professor. Um, this is the bonus. I'm just going to walk you through how to use it real quick. It takes all about a minute. So the first thing you want to do is use the port remover. So we're going to go down to your Dot Connects file. We're going to open it, or load it I should say. Choose an output file. And you're just going to click start. What that does is that removes all the ports from all the servers that were live servers. So now you actually have a list of IP addresses. Next thing you want to do is remove or uh, remove any duplicates. So we're going to take that file, load it, choose an output, and then we are going to remove duplicates. Now you can use this remove duplicate for any word lists or IP addresses or anything. Um, it's just a little utility. You should be familiar from Proxy Professor. The third thing that you want to do is then add some ports. Now why is this important? You know it's a live server. Proxy Professor said it was a live server. It just told you that it was not a proxy working for either Manta or Yellow Book or or just wasn't um, an actual proxy on the port that you were testing. Being it's a live server, what you want to do at that point is then go ahead and check multiple ports. So let's say you have a list of a hundred ports that you know are almost usually, uh, you'll usually find a proxy on that. Or oftentimes you'll have what's called gated proxies or win gates and that's where you have one machine with 200 IP addresses and all 200 of those are actually um, proxies, they just have a different port number. So what you want to do is go ahead and put some ports in. If you want to load a list, you can do that. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to type a couple in. These are not common ports. Well, actually, they kind of are, but I mean, I'm just, I'm just typing in some gobbledygook so you can see how it works. And I'm going to load in that last batch that I put. Put, make an output, connects with ports. I'm going to click save, I'm going to click start, and that's it. That is done. So I'm going to open this up just to, so that you can see it. And there you go. That's exactly what it did. So it took those IP addresses and it put these ports on there and now it's ready for you to go ahead and put it into Proxy Professor and then test it, whatever your favorite method is. And that's it. Again, hey, thanks for buying Proxy Professor. This little tool here should help you get a bazillion more proxies and it only takes a few seconds to use so I would really suggest that you use it. I will be putting out the update, I'm sorry, I will be putting, um, I will be putting this into our uh, private group tomorrow. Uh, possibly tonight really late, but it's ready to go right now. So if you have any questions, go ahead, post them in the group, and I'll answer them for you. Bye.